Imagine having an AI that does not just chat with you, but actually takes control of your computer to get things done. That's exactly what Google's latest innovation, Project Jarvis, brings to the table. And yes, if you are getting Iron Man vibes from the name, you are absolutely right. That's precisely the kind of AI assistant Google is aiming to create. What makes Jarvis special is how it works directly within your Chrome browser, handling everyday tasks that you would normally do yourself. But what exactly is powering this revolutionary tool you might ask? At its core, Jarvis runs on Google's cutting-edge Gemini 2.0 model. Think of it as a highly sophisticated AI brain that can independently tackle everything from online shopping and travel bookings to in-depth research. The technology behind it is pretty clever. Gemini 2.0 uses specialized mini-networks, each expert at handling different types of tasks. This smart design means Jarvis can quickly figure out the most efficient way to complete your requests in real time. Now you might be wondering, with all the chatbots and virtual assistants out there, why do we need an AI that takes control of our browser? Well, that's where things get really interesting. The AI landscape is evolving rapidly, moving far beyond simple chatbots. While Microsoft's Copilot Vision and Anthropics Claude are making waves with their web interaction capabilities, Google's Jarvis is pushing the boundaries even further. By integrating directly into Chrome, it creates a seamless experience that feels like having a skilled personal assistant right in your browser. What sets Jarvis apart is its remarkable visual comprehension. It can see and understand everything on your screen, every button, text field and link, just like you do. But here's where it gets really powerful. Jarvis can remember and process an enormous amount of information, about 2 million tokens worth. That's like having an assistant with an exceptional memory who never forgets your previous conversations or requests. This combination of visual understanding and extensive memory means Jarvis can handle complex, multi-step tasks that would typically require your full attention. Do you need to research flights across multiple airlines, compare prices, and book the best option while following your specific preferences? Jarvis can manage all of that as one fluid operation, making it much more than just another AI tool. It's like having a capable co-pilot for your digital life. Imagine telling Jarvis, book me a flight to New York next weekend under $500, and watching it handle everything, from comparing airlines to filling out your details. The AI can capture screenshots, analyze various options, and complete all the necessary forms. While it's currently taking measured steps between actions during its testing phase, the goal is clear, eliminating the frustration of juggling multiple browser tabs. Since its quiet launch in December, Jarvis has been reshaping how we think about web automation. With a single command, you can now accomplish tasks that would typically require dozens of clicks and keystrokes. This leap forward has many wondering if traditional chatbots are becoming obsolete. After all, why would you stick with an AI that can only talk when you could have one that actively works alongside you? This shift represents a broader evolution in AI technology, where assistants are transforming from passive conversation partners into proactive digital collaborators. We are entering an era where AI agents don't just understand your instructions, they execute them with precision across the entire web. However, this powerful capability comes with important considerations. When you give an AI access to your browsing activities, search patterns and payment information, you are placing significant trust in the system. While the convenience is compelling, questions about privacy, control, and security can't be ignored. What happens if someone manages to compromise these AI agents? Could they gain access to your entire digital footprint? Given these challenges, Google is taking a cautious approach. According to various tech sources, they are planning a limited initial release of Jarvis. Only carefully selected testers will get early access, giving Google time to fine-tune the security features and iron out any potential issues. Google's vision extends far beyond basic web automation. They are revolutionizing how we shop online. Their enhanced shopping function uses AI to create a remarkably personalized experience. Think about this. When you search for a winter jacket for men in Seattle, the AI automatically considers the city's rainy climate and prioritizes waterproof options. It's like having a personal shopper who knows both your needs and your environment. The system builds a detailed understanding of your preferences by analyzing your search patterns, interests, and shortlisted items. When you return to Google's shopping feed, you'll find carefully curated suggestions that align with your style, location, and specific requirements. A Seattle resident might see more rain-resistant gear, while someone in Denver might get recommendations better suited for snow and altitude. 
While this level of personalization promises incredible convenience, it also opens up important conversations about privacy and data collection. The more the AI learns about your preferences, the more personal information it needs to process and store. Google has taken online shopping to the next level with their AI try-on feature. Using sophisticated diffusion-based AI technology, you can now see how clothes would look on you without stepping into a fitting room. The system creates a virtual model of you and maps clothing onto it, giving you a realistic preview right on your screen. While currently available with select brands, this technology marks a significant advancement in online retail. As these AI tools become more sophisticated, Google is taking proactive steps to address concerns about digital manipulation. They have implemented a transparent approach to AI-edited images. Whenever you use features like Magic Eraser in Google Photos, the system automatically adds an end quote, edited with Google AI end quote, label to the image's metadata. This move aligns with similar initiatives from other tech giants, like Apple's cleanup feature labeling system. It's a crucial development in our increasingly AI-enhanced world, where the line between original and altered content can become remarkably thin. Behind these impressive technological advances lies a compelling business strategy. With hundreds of billions invested in AI development, companies like Google are creating new ways to integrate AI into our daily lives and monetize it effectively. By weaving AI assistance into everyday tasks like shopping and browsing, they're building an ecosystem that's both useful and profitable. Take Microsoft's approach with their Power Virtual Agents, AI systems capable of handling complex business operations from sales to customer support. These specialized agents are so efficient that a single person could potentially oversee multiple AI workers, dramatically transforming traditional business operations. We're witnessing a fundamental shift in how we interact with AI technology. Instead of just asking questions and getting answers, we're now delegating actual tasks to these digital assistants. Major tech companies are betting on a future where AI companions become as indispensable as our smartphones, a vision that could reshape our daily digital interactions. But this transition raises important questions. While the potential benefits are enormous, we're still in the early stages of understanding what it means to give AI systems such active roles in our lives. As we approach December's potential launch of Project Jarvis, we're standing at the threshold of what could be one of the most significant developments in AI this year. This isn't just another tech update, it's potentially a fundamental shift in how we interact with our digital world. This brings us to the big question, are we prepared to hand over the controls to AI assistants like Jarvis? Or are we venturing into territory that might fundamentally change our relationship with technology? I would love to hear your thoughts on this, share your perspective in the comments below. If you found this analysis helpful and want to stay informed about the latest developments in AI and tech, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel.